Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we shall be looking at the members of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, then and where they are now. Let's dive right in. Adriana Caslotti. Adriana Caslotti was only 21 years old in 1937 and died of cancer in 1997 at age 80. She was the first female voice actor to be named a Disney legend in 1994. Lucille Laverne. Lucille Laverne was 65 years old then and died of cancer when she was 72 in 1945. She ran her own successful stock company. Harry Stockwell. Harry Stockwell was 35 years old then and died of diabetes in 1984 at age 82. He made his film debut in the 1935 film, Here Comes the Band. Pinto Kolvig. Pinto Kolvig was 45 years old then and died of lung cancer at age 75 in 1967. He was made a Disney legend in 1993. Roy Atwell. Roy Atwell was 58 years old then and died aged 83 in 1962. He was known to play characters that misdeliver their lines or stammer. Billy Gilbert. Billy Gilbert was 43 years old then and died at age 77 in 1971. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6263 Hollywood Boulevard. Stuart Buchanan. Stuart Buchanan was 43 years old then in 1937 and died in 1974 at age 79. He was on the University of Florida and West Virginia University faculty teaching poetry and drama. Eddie Collins. Eddie Collins was 54 years old then and died of a heart attack at age 57 in 1940. He died just weeks after the premiere of his last film, The Return of Frank James. Otis Harlan. Otis Harlan was 72 years old then and died of a stroke when he was 74 in 1940. He was the uncle of the silent film era leading man, Kenneth Harlan. Scott Matra. Scott Matra was 57 then and died in 1946 when he was 65 years old. He is best known for his character as Bashful in Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Moroni Olson. Moroni Olson was 48 years old in 1937 and died at age 65 in 1954. He sold war bonds for the United States Navy during World War I. Perv Pullen. Perv Pullen was only 28 years old then and died aged 83 in 1992. He began performing as a voice actor in films in the 1930s. Thanks for watching.